Hi, this is Kelly from Pataka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and today's tutorial is all about creating a transparent text box that you can use to highlight different parts of your Boom Card deck. So in this example, I am showing you a page from my articulation for high schoolers, and I use a transparent box to highlight the position of the target sound. Okay, so you can see here, I can easily move it on any part of the word, but here I'm covering up the initial R, and I can jump over here to the medial R, and then the final R. So let's go ahead and go into our Boom workstation and see how we're going to do that. Okay, so we're just going to pull a text box down and we're going to delete what's inside and then you simply make it as large or small or narrow as you want. Okay, so we're going to make it like that and then we're going to come over to where it says background and simply select a color. So let's select green. Okay, and we want to make it transparent. So we're going to come over to the item and see where it says opacity. Right now it's at 100% opacity. We want to change it so it's reduced down and more transparent. Okay, so that looks good right there. Now there's a couple things that we can do with this. First, we want to make it draggable, right? Because we're going to use it to highlight different things. Um, but I'm going to make a couple duplicates to show you some alternatives that you can do with this. So we can have one that is just the transparent box, or we can come over to border and give it a border. Okay, now we can take that same box and duplicate it and we can get rid of the uh, actual color, right? So we want to make sure we choose this checkered pattern here and it's just going to have a border for us. Okay, so um, we can use this to highlight the whole entire word or we can size it down and make it a little smaller so we can highlight letters. Okay, so we're going to put that one here and let's duplicate it again and get back to that green color that we had. And we're going to apply it and then just reduce the opacity. Actually, it's already re reduced down since we're making copies of it. Okay, so we're double checking that they are all um, draggable, which is perfect. So now we need something over here to test out um, our boxes. So let's just grab another text box and we'll just type in the word word. Okay, so we have a small one here and we'll duplicate it again and make it a little bit bigger so we can practice highlighting one letter at a time. So let's just go ahead and make it, uh, let's make it 72 here and we'll center it. And um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make one of these texts uh, actually draggable. And the reason is, is you can either put this on top of it or you can put it underneath it. So we're going to make this one um, go back. So we're going to do Z order and put it in the very rear. Um, let's see, and we'll go test them out. Okay, so here we have our text boxes. They should all be draggable, and you're just going to choose one of them. But for this example, I wanted you to see them all on one page. Now this word is not draggable, this word's not draggable, but this one is. Okay, so let's move this one over and highlight it. That looks good. If we move it to this word, you're going to notice should do this. Oh, it does not do it. Okay, hold on. Let's go back really quick. You should have noticed the words um, really pop up. So this one we're going to do Z order again and make sure it comes all the way to the front. Maybe I did that the opposite. <laughs> it's kind of late right now. Um, so I'll move it here. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Okay, so it's on the top layer here. Okay, um, but this one it's actually covering it up. Okay, so it's up to you. You just need to play around with the Z order of things. If you want this word to pop up, it needs to be on the top layer. Okay, this one can come over and highlight. And this is what it would look like with just the simple outline around it. And then if we wanted to highlight a letter, we could. I like to have the color um, because it really makes it evident what part we are highlighting. So I hope that is helpful for you. I'm going to show you one other thing as I was playing around for this tutorial. Um, I tested out a little um, a little thing here, just like this. I'll show it to you. Um, so basically you have an image that has a transparent box attached to it. And now we can come over here and highlight things. So if we want to find the number one. Now I haven't made this so that anything can be selected to be accurate. Um, but I just thought it was cool to be able to highlight that. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this particular activity, what ideas it might inspire in you. And if you'd like me to make a tutorial on how I did this exact page, I'd be happy to do that one next for you. So wishing you a wonderful week. Please give this video a like and share it with anyone who might also find it helpful.